hello today i'm here with no face and only hands so today i'm doing a declutter video i think it will be <laughs> more than one part and um, today i'm doing base products and i love that like everybody's doing declutter videos and i want to do one as well it was such a long time since i last did one i will start with my primers and this is both face primers and eyeshadow primers and glitter glues and stuff so i'm going through this first and see what we are decluttering and i will see how much i get into this video i hope i will go through my primers, powders, foundations and concealers, but we will see. So we can start with Kat Von D. As you see, it's not so much left in this one. And my foundation I have right now doesn't go good with this and I think this is starting to get a little bit old and I think it's finally time to declare this one, so I am going to get rid of this. Then I have the Infinity Glass from Linda Holberg and how strange it's hard with a good camera angle, but I think we have to do it like this. I have the Infinity Glass by Linda Holberg and I am going to keep this one. And then also a primer spray from Kix. This is the one I use right now, so I'm going to keep this. There's not so much left in this. I also have this one from Smashbox, the primer water. And I'm going to start using this when the one from Kix is empty. So this is in my backup drawer um, but I think I'm going to talk a little bit about the backup drawer things as well so I'm going to keep this one for sure and then we have this is also in my backup drawer this is a wet n wild primer cover all I am um, I don't know when I'm going to use it but I'm going to use it so this will also stay then we have this one I think I got this in maybe look fantastic box or something and I'm not even sure if this is cruelty free. It seems like they are, so I I just have to smell this. It's not even open, so I put this. But this is like one of these mask moisturizer and primer in one, and I usually don't like this. I think I'm getting rid of this one as well. Then I have this one from Lumiene, and this is their Insta Glow UV Primer SPF 30. I bought this last year and it has not gone bad yet um, so I will hang on to this I will use this more in the summer so this will stay as well and then I have this primer this is a mineral primer for min mineral foundation I am of course keeping this one as well then I have my eyeshadow base my eye primers um, I have this one that I'm using right now. It's not so much left as you can see, so I will of course keep this and use this up. And it feels like the lighting is so bad. And then I got my NYX glitter glue. I use this as well, so this is also staying. Then I have this primer potion from Urban Decay. This I will go in with when my other one is empty, so I am of course keeping this one as well. And then I have this one, Thank Me Later by Elizabeth Moth. I am getting rid of this one because I don't think I will use it. So that was all the primers and I think I will go in in the end of this video and see how much I have left of everything. So I think we hop into foundations. So this is what we are working with with foundations and it feels like I'm always saying that I don't have so many foundations but now when I look at this I have some. So we can start with the backup things. I have these two and this is the one I'm using. This is almost empty and this is the refill for this one so I'm of course keeping all these free. This is my absolute favorite mineral foundation from TK. I got two different colors and yeah I'm keeping these. These. Other things I have in my backup drawer are these two. This is one of my or this is the best foundation I have ever tried. I think I'm going to use this soon. I really really love this. Um, I bought this a long time ago just to have a backup because I think it was on sale so I'm going to keep this. Then I also bought Isadora's... 
Is there super long wear all day makeup? Sweat and humidity proof. I will use this now during the summer. I will try and see how it is. So this is the foundation I am going in with. Because my foundation I have now is almost empty. So this is a keeper as well. And the foundation I'm using right now is the Ordinary and I am of course keeping this one. It's not so much left as you can see. It looks super disgusting. Love this. Going to use it up. Then I have the stick foundation from Makeup Revolution. Um, I don't have so much left I think. Okay I have maybe half of it. Something strange happened with this. This was the perfect color for me it worked so good with my skin like for four months or something and then it just got so freaking it likes oxidize and turn pink so I can't use this anymore and it doesn't lay good on my skin anymore so I am going to declare this I have give it like five more chances but it's not working anymore and I don't know what's happened so I'm going to declare this one then I have the NYX Total Contrap and I have talked about this quite a few times. I mixed this together with another foundation before. Uh, that foundation ran out. I still have quite a lot of this and I don't like this foundation on its own. So I think I'm going to declare this because I don't like it on its own. I haven't used it for a long time. So it goes in my maybe pile. This was actually a good color for me um, but I don't like the formula. It's too full coverage. It's all or nothing with this foundation for me. It isn't supposed to be like that but I just guess it doesn't suit my dry skin. And then I have this one. I got this from a friend. It's the Body Shop's Matte Clay Skin Clarifying Foundation. I don't know if this suits my dry skin. I haven't tried this yet. It was too light for her so she gave it to me. And this is a full coverage foundation and it's a matte foundation and that's not my favorite. But I will at least try this and see what I think. Do you want a review or something on this? Like a first impression or maybe just to get rid with me when I try this? So I will keep this and see what I think. If I don't like it I will declutter it. And then I have this BB cream. Um, that I also got from the same friend. It was too light for her as well. I like this but I never reached for it and now I have had it for such a long time and I think it's old. So I think I'm going to declare this. I have a video on this. It's a video in Swedish but if you want to you can check it out. I can leave it up in the corner. Is it that corner? Or is it this? I think it's that corner. The last two things is to custom drops and um, two whitening drops because I am so freaking pale. I had this first and I have used like half the bottle. I don't know if this is still good to use. It was such a long time I used it so I think I will declutter it because it is pretty old and I will keep this from H&M, this whitening drops. This is actually really good. I really like this one and um, they have a brown one as well to darken down foundations but I used this lightning so I'm going to keep this and declare this one. This was all for foundations now I think we will go into concealers. Okay so this is some concealers I found this one this is an eyeshadow primer it's the same that I'm using now so I'm going to keep this one as well I just want to put it in the video so we keep this one. I also found this this is a golden skin roll-on caviar eye gel I am not going to use this. I got it in either a glossy box or a look fantastic box. So I am going to declare this one. And then we just have my concealers. I have a backup and an open Colourpop no filter concealer. I don't like this as a concealer. It's too drying for me but I am going to keep this because I cut my lid with this. So I am going to keep both of these. And then I have this concealer. This is like the best concealer I have ever tried together with Revolutions Conceal and Define. This is from Viva La Diva. It's a Swedish brand. I'm going to use this because this is my little concealer baby. And the last concealer is the white concealer from 
Revolution and I use this to highlight my face. Really, really love this. Going to keep this one as well. So concealer <laughs> was a quickie. Now I think we're going to powders. Okay, so for being a person that don't love powders, <laughs> I have a lot of powders, I just realized. So yeah, I think I can declutter at least one of these. We will see. We can start with this one. This is a mineral glow powder. I am going to keep on to this one. I don't use it that much, but I'm going to have it in my collection. And then also the Infinity Filter by Linda Holberg in light, or Linda Holberg. I'm going to keep this as well. This is the powder I use to set my concealer. Then I have a powder from Kix. This is a cooling powder. I think um, I don't uh, really like this I <laughs> it doesn't lay good on my skin and I am going to declare this I have put this in a maybe pile and have it in a maybe pile for like one and a half years I haven't used it so I am going to declare this one then I have the no filter setting powder in banana I think yeah from Colourpop and banana powders is not my jazz at all. I thought it was, but it's not. So I am going to declare this as well. I think I am too light to use banana powders because this was just yellow underneath my eyes. Maybe I can make it work with the white concealer from Revolution, but I don't want to hassle like that with a with a powder. So I'm going to declare this one as well. Then I have the powder. When I'm using powder, this is. The one I use the most, it's from Lumiana and it's their translucent, so I am going to keep this one. Then I have the RCMA powder in a old H&M jar. Um, and I don't use this as much anymore, but I'm going to keep hanging on to this one, so this is also staying. Then I have my only pressed powder. This is from Swedish brand Eden, and this is translucent illuminating powder. And I think I'm going to start to use this as a highlighter instead. I think it should work. I don't know if you can see. I bought this because I had such mattifying foundation, and this helped. So I am going to hang on. To this and I think I'm going to start using it as a highlighter. Then I got three powders from makeup store and <laughs> this one is like the biggest powder jar I have ever seen. Mm, this is 19 grams. I don't think it's that big but I think it's big. And this is like an illuminating powder as well. And I have don't <laughs> use so much of this so I am going to keep this. It's their wand powder and I think it looks so so good on the skin so I'm going to keep this one. And then I have these two. This is also from Makeup Store as you can see and this is pale and this is milk. So this is a pink translucent and this is a white or yellow translucent and I can use this if I have the wrong undertone on my foundation so if I have foundation that is too pink I use this yellow one and if I have foundation that is too yellow I use this pink one and I don't know because I'm changing foundation so I maybe need one of these in the near future so I'm going to hang on on these two as well so okay I almost kept all the powders as well I'm going to show you and count how many things I have declutter and the things I'm saving it's a lot so we don't have to go through that but I will show you the things that I have declutter. Okay so these are the things I'm going to declutter. I'm going to declutter this one, whatever this is. Make a revolution foundation so do. So nine things. So that was the first part of my declutter series. I really hope you liked this first declutter video and I hope you liked it. 
I will do the clutters. I don't know what this is. I'm sorry about my hand. But I hope you liked this video. And if you're not subscribe, subscribing, please do. So you don't miss any of my videos. And I will see you in the next one. Bye.